accident as uh, President Trump makes his way through Asia. The Trump whisperer for us is Alex Castellanos, ABC News political analyst. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Uh, so far, so good, right? So far, so good. He hasn't uh, tweeted a nuclear incident yet, so uh, keep your fingers crossed. Now, we are hearing different rhetoric from him. It's much more uh, friendly, much more subdued, not as in your face. What's going on? Well, Donald Trump abroad is a very different Donald Trump than we see here at home. He is uh, projecting disciplined American strength, respecting his host. He lathered up the Koreans, uh, uh, the great national golf team that won uh, the U.S. Ladies' U.S. Open here. He's just, he couldn't be more flattering. Uh, very different Trump. Donald Trump loves the global stage. It's bigger than the American stage, and he likes that spotlight. But also, on the international stage, Donald Trump doesn't have to negotiate with 535 members of Congress. Uh, he can get things done unilaterally. He likes that stage. Is somebody getting to him and saying, look, you've got friends in the region that can help you with North Korea. It does you no good to upset them? I think Donald Trump uh, understands that on the international stage, he can get good advice from John Kelly, from Rex Tillerson, and it's a good cop, bad cop routine sometimes. Donald Trump applies the heat and the heated rhetoric uh, on international affairs, yet uh, lets, lets uh, Tillerson and others kind of uh, reach those uh, accommodations, and it opens them up to be the good guy. So now you're seeing all that come together, and maybe there'll be some progress on trade and on North Korea when he's in China today. What do you make of his sort of angry tweets about the election in Virginia while he's overseas? Well, the buck doesn't stop with Donald Trump. That's something we've learned. He's saying that Ed Gillespie uh, wasn't Trump enough, and that's why Trump voters didn't show. But, but I think Gillespie certainly tried to uh, to get those Trump voters out. Just Trumpism without Trump does not work. They didn't show up. What did show up was anti-Trump voters in Northern Virginia, women especially. Ed Gillespie, the Republican, won men in Virginia by two percent, lost women by twenty-two percent. There's tremendous anti-Trump intensity among women. This may be the price Donald Trump is paying for his heated rhetoric about women during the campaign and since. But you know what, though? It also, I think, goes to show that women don't like Hillary Clinton. Don't like Hillary Clinton. Exactly. If, uh, if they, Democrats had run a bland candidate like Ralph Northam, the Democrat in Virginia, uh, they might have done better. Uh, the Democrats seemed to run the only candidate Donald Trump could beat, and that was Hillary. Yeah. What do you make of the uh, state house in Virginia almost flipping? Well, this is the other big message that came out of the elections last night. Yes, Donald Trump uh, intensified Democrats. Yes, those Trump voters didn't show up. But the Republican Party displayed its weakness. Without Trump voters coming to the polls, all Ed Gillespie had left was the old Republican Party that Donald Trump crushed. What have Republicans learned since the election? Nothing. What have they done? Nothing. Have they grown at all? No. So right now we're seeing that this is a referendum on Republican hollowness as well as on Donald Trump. Stay tuned, in other words, right, Alex? Stay tuned. It's going to be a rough year for Republicans in 2018. Alex Castellanos, the Trump whisperer. Alex, have a good day.